Sure, bodyguards might not be the first people to come to mind when it comes to celebrity affairs, but in hindsight, hiring a big, strong individual to watch you round the clock does seem like pretty natural circumstances for romance to develop. Few celebrities have had their private lives exposed as fully as Kim Kardashian and the other members of her family. Of course, this was by design as the Kardashian and Jenner clan built a lucrative career by shining a light on their lives. This made Kardashian one of the most recognized celebrities in the world, and like any popular figure, her dating life is tabloid fodder. Her relationships are picked apart for the world to see, but that isn't always a good thing for the men she dates. One such gentleman, Shane Godin, had a fairly rough go of things dating the Keeping Up with the Kardashian star. He began working for Kardashian as her bodyguard, but it didn't take long for the two to start dating. This wasn't something they kept hidden, and fans got to see how their relationship unfolded on the show in 2011. Perhaps unsurprisingly, their relationship wasn't without controversy. According to Star Magazine, Dean was married, and his wife reportedly accused him of leaving her to be with Kardashian. Dean stopped working as Kardashian's bodyguard when they started dating, but he couldn't find work in Los Angeles. This created a rift between the two, and it couldn't have been easy to be unemployed while dating such a famous reality star. The strain was too much, and they drifted apart. It was fun, and I like didn't want it to go away. Heidi Klum's relationship with her bodyguard, Martin Kristen, was controversial thanks to her marriage to Seal. During an interview with Katie Couric, Klum told Couric she was at the beginning stages of a relationship with Kristen. She explained, I've known him for four years, and he's been with our family for four years. He's cared for our entire family, mostly for our four children. He's helped us tremendously. He's helped our children. I trust him with my children." After going their separate ways, Klum went on to marry Tom Kalitz of the German band Tokyo Hotel. Pamela Anderson has been involved with many high-profile men over the years, and she's been married five times. Notably, she married and divorced Tommy Lee and Kid Rock, and her fifth husband, Dan Hayhurst started as her builder and bodyguard on Vancouver Island, Canada. Before they got together, Anderson married and divorced producer John Peters after being together for less than two weeks. However, Anderson claimed their marriage was never official, as they didn't file the paperwork. Regardless, Anderson didn't waste any time hooking up with Hayhurst, whom she dated throughout most of 2020. On December 24, 2020, the couple tied the knot, and the marriage was strong as far as anyone could tell. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be, and the couple separated after a year before ultimately filing for divorce in January 2022. Anderson later described the marriage to the Sunday Times as stupid and reflected that she regretted going through with it. She explained, It was worse than any of them, prior marriages. And I realized, oh my god, I'm caught up in this whole thing, what am I doing? Hayhurst was Anderson's first non-celebrity relationship in quite some time. And she told Vanity Fair she didn't like being placed in a traditional housewife role, so she called it quits. These days, Jennifer Lopez's on and off relationship with Ben Affleck is among the first things that comes to mind when her name is mentioned. When Ben and I got back together, it was just like, I want to make music again, I want to get back in the studio. I was very, very inspired. However, Affleck is not the only man with whom she has been involved. Lopez started seeing actor and model Ohani Noah at the start of her career. But after he followed her to Los Angeles, he couldn't find work, so he doubled as Lopez's bodyguard. By 1997, the couple married, but it didn't last long, and they divorced the following year. By most accounts, Noah isn't the best ex-husband in the world, and he tried to publish a tell-all book about Lopez. He offered not to publish the book in exchange for $5 million, so Lopez sued and won. According to the Sunday Morning Herald, she stopped the publication of the salacious text and received all related materials as well as $545,000 from her ex. In the years since, Noah has spoken out against his ex-wife and her mother, claiming not to be a bad guy. Noah also tried to use private footage taken during their honeymoon for a documentary, but this attempt was similarly hit with a cease and desist from Lopez's attorneys. According to Today, Lopez accused Noah of violating a confidentiality agreement, so she did what she could to undermine the video's release. Noah responded with a $10 million lawsuit, which a judge ultimately dismissed. Since blowing up in the late 1990s, Britney Spears' life has been on full display for public consumption. This hasn't always been good for Spears, who was placed in an involuntary conservatorship under her father for several years. Before, during, and after the conservatorship, Spears' dating history made headlines, 
and she's reportedly dated several notable celebrities, including Justin Timberlake, Jared Leto, and others. One rumored relationship involved Spears' bodyguard, Lee, with whom the pop superstar was seen enjoying some time in the sun together. The pictures suggest a romantic relationship as they appear to be dancing and holding one another close. When the shots hit the internet, it didn't take long for news of Spears and Lee's relationship to make the rounds. Despite this, a source told People, he is her bodyguard and Manny. They're not dating. Another source told The Sun that they were dating, having hit it off immediately, and that he's just her type. Whichever story is true remains to be seen, and Spears has since married and divorced Sam Asghari. Even so, Spears has a history of dating her employees, so the possibility of her relationship is certainly real. Kate Goslin skyrocketed to international fame as the star of John and Kate Plus 8. Unfortunately, the two didn't stay together, and Kate officially split from John in 2009. At the time, Kate waved off dating to spend time with her children, and John engaged in a series of public relationships. Kate remained unmarried following her divorce, but like any celebrity, she's the target of relationship rumors, including one regarding her former bodyguard, Steve Neeld. Kate hired Neeld in 2009, and the media has photographed the two on numerous occasions as they dine or move from place to place. It's hardly new for one photo to send the internet reeling into a frenzy of relationship rumors, but there may be something to this one. John had his own thoughts on Kate and Neeld's possible relationship, telling In Touch Weekly he believed they shared a hotel room when they traveled, leaving the children in a separate room. John made similar claims on various programs, and it's clear he believes Kate and Neeld had a romantic relationship. These could be the frustrated grumblings of an ex-husband, but they could be more than that. Still, neither party confirmed the rumors, and seeing as Neeld is married with children, it's unlikely that will change. You would theoretically hang out with your security person. Oh my gosh. No, okay, no, so that's no. No, but no. Regardless, the internet keeps this rumor alive. Neeld and Kate ended their professional relationship in 2014, and in the eyes of many, it's possible the reason for this was a breakup behind the scenes. If there's one thing that's a universal truth, it's that members of the British royal family are constant targets of tabloids and legitimate journalists. And this is as true today as it was back when Princess Diana was the subject of headlines. Most of the time, Princess Di appeared in the papers for doing charitable things. But after her divorce from Prince Charles, rumors began flying about her alleged affair with Barry Manneke, a police officer with the Royal Protection Squad. Manneke was also the bodyguard assigned to the Princess of Wales, and the two could be found in public for quite some time. This led to the appearance of impropriety. And as a result, Manneke was removed from Diana's protection detail and reassigned. The relationship was never confirmed. And now that both parties have died, it's unlikely it ever will be. Even so, that doesn't eliminate the evidence. According to Tatler, in a taped recording with Diana's voice coach, Peter Settlin, the princess revealed she loved Manneke greatly and would have been, quote, quite happy to give all this up and to just go off and live with him. Diana and Charles' marriage was the subject of numerous tabloids related to cheating scandals, so this is a rumor that could be true. Still, it could also be false, having been blown out of proportion in the years since Diana's death.